Welcome guys to a new movie review on this channel. I especially this time, for the first time ever, drove just to this video to Vienna to meet this guy here, good friend of mine. So who are you actually? Oh, who, I, who <laughs> am I? That's a good question. Yeah. Uh, my name is Greg. I'm a director and writer uh, and actor. And today David and I, we watch two films. Yes, One of them is Free Fire. Mm -hmm from 2016, directed by Ben Wheatley, and yeah, what did you think about the movie? Well, you recommended this movie to me, uh, and it sounded interesting, because essentially it's about a shootout. In a basically, it's, basically. It's, it's, it's a shootout, it's about, um, let's, say, let's say it's about eight guys, and they want, they want to make a weapons deal mm -hmm. in a warehouse, and it's set in the 70s and basically the shootout goes wrong and the whole movie then is a shootout yeah the whole movie 90 minutes just shooting <laughs> just shooting just people shooting at each other yeah starring uh Kelly Murphy and Army Hammer um uh, Sam Riley and we have Future Captain Marvel, Brie Larson. All right. Ah, yes, true. So, what did you think? Well, at first, I thought, well, it's a 90 minutes movie. That's good, not too long, because mm -hmm. I think two hours would be way too much for this story, if you want to say. Uh, but the problem actually was uh, the beginning was very promising. Let's start with the beginning. I think the beginning mm -hmm. is very promising. You have really good actors in there. They're doing really great performances. It's also kind of funny sometimes. That's also nice. I like that. It has some humor in it. Uh, but just like in the end, it it just starts to drag on and on, and it feels like the same stuff over and over and over again. Like one guy gets shot in the foot again, and one you know that's kind of I get it. Yeah. yeah, and in the end, it kind of felt like okay, the movie could end now, but it doesn't, and. Let's say for because ninety minutes isn't long for a movie nowadays. I think well, nowadays it's about two hours. Two hours. So, yeah. Two hours. So when a one hour thirty movie feels longer to me than some two and a half hour movies, that's kind of not that good. Mm -hmm. So that's why I kind of deduct some points there. But still, all in all, I would say well, before. What's your point? Before we go to my opinion. Uh yeah. What did I think? I think. The beginning was very good. Mm -hmm. um, I thought the setup was was great. Um, all characters were introduced properly, mm -hmm. and then when the shootout starts, it never amounts to anything other than people shooting at each other. So you basically, at the start of the second act, around the second act, it just feels samey after a while. Yes because it never builds to something greater than people shooting at each other and yeah. then the movie ends yeah and it just ends yeah yeah that that's basically it and i mean you have your funny moments in there yes definitely. it's it's fun um the shootouts sometimes really feel like fun sometimes they uh seem like a seem very procedural like okay we have to get over this and yeah, yeah, yeah. we have to switch locations but people sh still should shoot each other so you have your problems there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, my I think besides the length my biggest gripe with the movie was that the geography of the action wasn't set up properly in the beginning what I mean by yeah. that is at first, when you come into the warehouse, in order for the shootout to work 100%, what they didn't do is mm -hmm. they didn't show you the whole area. They didn't. That's true. Yeah. They didn't establish the area, so you were kind of like you you were never really sure who shoots whom. Yeah, that's true. Actually, yes. And some, I mean, if this guy shoots this one, and you see him uh, him getting shot. So you kind of yeah. know the direction they're shooting, mm -hmm. then, but you don't know where they are in the warehouse itself. So it's never really clear. Sometimes they're um, they're 
standing by the car, but you don't know how the car is in relationship to the person shooting at the car, or shooting at the at the people behind the car. You don't really know that, and that sometimes bugged me because if I don't know who shoots who, it just feels boring. Mm -hmm. And when there were close quarter scenes later in the film, yeah. and you knew where the people were, it was easier to follow and it was much more intriguing and fascinating. And if they had done that, it probably would have worked better. True. See, see that's why I like having him here. Because he has <laughs> these elaborate opinions where I'm actually like, yes, this makes sense, you know? Because I, now that you're saying it, it's right. I had those moments where they, when there was like five people shooting at once. You were like, well, who is now shooting who? I don't know. It's like, it's, it's true when I think about it. I don't know where most of the time they were. It's yeah. Like in the room. Yeah, yeah it's and, true. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, it's in a way frustrating mm -hmm. to, uh, to look at because you want to engage into the action scene mm -hmm. because it's, it's, it's fun and exciting and at first you kind of know where they are but then they start to move around and it just gets convoluted because you can't memorize the situations yes it's it doesn't it doesn't affect you that much i there's a good example of a film a horror film to be exact uh is that really did that it's also 80 80 to 90 minutes which one is it it's from 2009 it's a um homage onto the 70s horror film it's House of the the House of the Devil. I haven't seen that one. And basically, it's about. I know I'm 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 talking now about <laughs> another movie, Go ahead. but the movie is about a, a woman who's babysitting at a at an old uh, old uh, old people's place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's she's babysitting or she's staying there. Um, so, or house sitting in something like that. She's 18, and at first nothing happens. The first, ha only in the last 20 minutes, things really start to get scary, and she gets chased around mm -hmm. the house. But the house was established prior. You know, yeah. at first it was why, why do we watch her eat in the in the kitchen and sit in the yeah. living room and then go into the cellar and then go upstairs and down this this corridor and you're thinking that's all for nothing is but in fact it was set up for the chase later in the mm -hmm. film so when he's chasing her you know exactly where she is and how far he oh, yeah, the person chasing her is behind mm -hmm. her so there's tension compared to this now going back to free fire you didn't have an establishing of the geography and that's why it didn't quite work 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 yeah no, well yeah yeah and so basically, what did you think? Would would you recommend Free Fire? Um, I mean, I, I would say it's a good movie. You know, it's, yeah. not bad, it's not bad. I mean, it has its faults, as you already perfectly said. I mean, there's nothing to add there. Um, so I would recommend it to people who would probably say that this is a movie uh, when they want to watch an action movie with not much story behind it. Mm -hmm. So if you just want to see a shootout, that surely is a good movie for them. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would not like give them the biggest expectations for it. If mm -hmm. you like it, is I mean you shouldn't anyway for every movie because then yeah you, you shouldn't you should um you should go you should go into every movie with an open mind. Yeah yeah true basically because uh, then you set up yourself for disappointment other way. Yeah. Yeah so I would recommend it still yes I think it's a good movie regardless. Okay. So I would say, uh, I mean, if you want to put it in a rating, kind of, I mean, maybe you can do this as well. So I always do, it's like, I would give this 7.5 probably, out yeah. of 10, of course. Yeah, okay. Mm. Uh, what would that be for you? Well, for, no, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily go into new moves, but I will do because it's your channel. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, um, what I would say about the movie is, I would recommend it to people who like ac action, mm -hmm. action films. Like you said, with not much story, it's, it's basically one long shootout, and yeah. it's 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 a fun movie to watch. It's a yes. fun romp for ninety minutes. It's I would I would categorize it in a way if, 
if you want to do it, um, it's a Sunday afternoon movie. <laughs> yeah. You when nothing's on and you want to want to do something for 90 minutes that isn't reading or listening to music or anything else and you find this movie mm -hmm. on on a streaming service and basically uh, it's there's nothing wrong with watching it yeah. i wouldn't go out um, i wouldn't go out to, to buy it specifically yeah no it's it's fine to have in your collection. It's it's nice, but I don't think there's that much of rewatchability yes, there. That's true. Um, yeah, I like the performances. Like I said, biggest problem in geography, and sometimes it felt samey and not and things were not really progressing. It felt more like a very good short mm -hmm. that got stretched into one and a half hours to make it full feature. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice, uh, it's got a nice concept, nice idea. I liked it very much, but in the end, it's not that memorable. Yes, and and I'm I'm sorry to say that, and yeah, I would, I would definitely recommend it if you want something fun and light, mm -hmm. and, yeah, you know, on a rating scale, I would give it a seven out of ten. Also, oh, it's it's okay. It works. It's mm. it's a film. That's nice to look at. Yeah, uh, it does not really do anything groundbreaking yeah. in in the in the camera or, or lighting department. Uh, Performance-wise, everything if everything works fine, it's it's a serviceable movie. Yeah, perfect. I mean, as I said, there's nothing to add here. So yeah, that's kind of free. How is it? Free fire. That's <laughs> free, free fire. Free for fire it. for you. Yeah. Yeah, free fire. Watch it or don't. We don't care. <laughs> Yeah, so that's our opinion on the movie Free Fire. As we said, watch it or don't. <laughs> it's still good. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you in the next movie review. Till then, bye.